Uh, for us, it's something that is really very huge, especially in the area of sports, where I work, using football as a tool for social development. Already, uh, social development crisis is at a very high level in Nigeria. So this uh, frail pork price increase will definitely uh, be at the highest alert. Because if we're talking about up to 10% of the Nigerian population, so definitely if uh, pump prices increase from 65 naira to 140 naira, which is over 120%, already the Nigerian people are on the ground. They should fear no fall again. In effect, it means that we're buying football at an average of 3,000 naira, good quality football, at 3,000 naira, 4,000 naira, Chinese made. If you not put that together, 120%, now we'll be thinking of buying those football at 7,500 naira. So it means this will be beyond the reach of normal school kids. What that portends is that people will not be able to play football on the streets again. They would have taken a major part of their life. Remember very well, football is Nigeria's official cultural language. Nigeria's biggest religion, transcending Christianity and Islam. So when you take football away from various homes, apparently you've killed them. You don't want to give them life. And then we're going to have more homeless people on the streets. So you will increase my own work, whereby I don't even get funding to support those people. At the end of the day, the social structure has been broken down totally. So in this aspect, I want to urge all Nigerian footballers, people who play football, people who play sports, if you are in Lagos, come over here to Ojota. This is where it's happening. We must stand up against oppression. Remember very well, Ben Ali, he took five days, more than five days, of quality protest, quality opposition to upstaging. Same thing happened in, uh, in Libya with Gaddafi. If you talk about Tunisia, then you talk about Austin Mubarak in Egypt. So Nigerians must not be left out of this revolution. It's a people's revolution. And one thing I tell you is this. Look at French people. Liberté, égalité, fraternité. That is freedom, equality, and fraternity. We have a right to exist in this country. We are going to stand up against every form of oppression. It is going to stand there forever. And I want to urge Nigerians, do not relent. It's a fight to finish. If you lose this, you have lost everything. All right, if we should ask technically, what should be the way forward? The way forward is for this government to be responsive to the people. The voice of the people is the voice of God. They have spoken. They want 65 Naira or nothing. So if they don't revert to 65 Naira, we are going to be on the street. This is our street. It is not Jonathan Street. We are going to occupy this street. We will stay here. And we are never going to leave until that thing gets back to 65 Naira. And that's where we are telling people, Huh? Watch, watch your step yeah, as you they enter. Enter. Now so Jonathan just the mentor. Mentor. Everybody to Ojota. Ojota. Wahala day. Wahala day. Wahala day. Wahala day. Wahala day. Wahala day. Then go see danger. Danger. I said, then go see danger. 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 Jonah danger. Iwala danger. 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 There's danger. 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 Then go see danger. Wahala day. Wahala day. Wahala day. Wahala day. Great people of Nigeria. Great people of Nigeria. Greatest of the greatest people of Nigeria. On Monday, we are going to return to this street. It's yeah, our street. Yeah, yeah. Do we agree? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do we agree? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know yeah, yeah. Jonathan Yimashe won't let you jump? I know Jonathan Yimashe won't let you jump. Do you know Jonathan Yimashe won't let you jump? I know.